Good morning. This is Wednesday, the 10th of February. Here are the answers for today's morning maths. We are taking away 345 from um, how much? From 629. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take away, uh, take this away in stages. So 629, take away 300 will leave us with 329. Okay, so that's dealt with that. If we take away another 40, then we can see that we're going to go less than less than 300. So therefore, we'd be left with 280, 289. Now here we can see that because we're taking away a multiple of 10, we're taking away 40. Because we're taking away a multiple of 10, the uh, ones do not change. And then finally, we're going to take away five. So 289 take away five is leaves us with 280. Nine take away five is four. 284. So we get rid of that. We get rid of that because they are sort of uh, just helping us. The actual answer is 284. Okay. Next quest, uh, next one, next example, 734. So 345 take away 734. So first of all, we'll take away 300. So 700 take away 300 is, of course, 400. So 434. Um, there we go. OK, now we've got to, so that's taking away the 7. Uh, sorry, that's taking away 300. Now we've got to take away 40, so let's put a line through that. So take away 40, we can see again that's going to take us less than 400. So that's going to be down to 390. But once again the units don't change. So 394, uh, 434, 394, that's correct. And then finally we take away the 5. So 394, 94 take away 5 is 89. So the answer will be 389. There we go. So 734 take away 345 is 389. OK, question number two. Multiply, multiply by 12. Hopefully you're getting a bit more used to these now. So we multiply by 10, then by 2, and then add them together. So 27 times 10 is 270 plus uh, 54 times 2 is 270 plus 54 is 324. So the answer to this one, 3, 2, Four. Uh, okay. Um, forty-eight. So forty-eight multiplied by twelve. <clears throat> um, first of all, forty-eight multiplied by ten is four hundred and eighty. Now, if you want to, if you're not sure about the multiplying by two bit, you could just write forty-eight down twice, and then do a little column addition to add them all up. That's uh, that's okay. So zero at eight at eight is sixteen. So we'll put a six there and a one just there. And then eight at four at four. Well, that's eight and eight is sixteen. Seventeen. So we'll put a seven there and then a one in that column. And then four at one is five. So therefore, that's five hundred and seventy-six. So five seven. 6 goes there, so 48 times 12 is 576. Okay, then we've got uh, 32. Okay, so we've got this one, 32. So multiply by 10 is 320. And then uh, 2 times 32 is 64. I can do that straight off, that's fairly straightforward. And 320 plus 64 is 384. So 384. Okay. Next example 41. So let's put a 41 here. 
uh, sorry, 41 times 10 is 410. And then 41 times 2 is 82. Careful to put the 8 in the right column, put the 2 in the right column, 82. And then add those two together, 492. 492. Okay. And then uh, finally, what are we doing? We're looking at 45. 45 times 12. Before we do this, let's just guess. 45 times 12, well, 45 is about 50, okay? So 50 times 10 is 500. 2 times 10 is 100, so that's 600 altogether. So the answer is going to be 600, but it's going to be a bit less because 45 is a bit less than uh, 50. So let's see how we go. So remember, 600, but a bit less. So 450, that's the 10 times 45. 2 times 45, well, 2 40s are 80. 2 5s are 10, so that's 90. So we've got 90 there. So 450 add 90. This looks like a 9 times tables question, doesn't it? 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. 54. So the answer is 54. Well, it's not really, it's 540, but you know what I mean. So 540 is the answer to that. And I said 600, which is quite a bit bigger, but you know, I did say it will be less than 600. Okay, divide by 100. Hopefully, you can almost do these in your sleep now because, whoops, that's wrong. <laughs> Just do that go back there okay 24 pounds divided by 100 is 24p and the next one is going to be 26p and the next one is going to be 27p and the next one is going to be 29 pence so the answer to all of those are in uh, pence and the reason is that um, there are 100 pence in a pound and so if you're dividing by 100 Effectively, you're changing from pounds to pence. Okay, question number four. Subtract 182 from 2 metres 45. So that's 2, 4, 5. Take away 182. And here we go. <clears throat> uh, it's take away. So... Are there going to be any exchanges? Well, not at first. Five take away two is three, so that's okay. Four take away eight. Yes, of course. Here we go. Here's the first exchange, so that becomes a one. One of those is ten of those. Fourteen take away eight is six. So six goes there, and one take away one is zero. And you can put the zero there, but it looks a little bit weird, so I'm not going to. So two, uh, two, sorry, two meters, forty-five centimeters. Take away 182 centimetres is just 63. And of course, the answers, answer rather is in centimetres. OK, next, um, also to do with measures, this time in kilograms and grams. Two kilograms, by now you should be able to tell me, is 2,000 grams. And, um, oops, and uh, half a kilogram is not far 50 centi uh, <laughs> is not 50 grams but 500 grams because one kilogram is a thousand so that's that's two and a half kilograms well i've just written there this is the same as two and a half kilograms and now we can write in 369 and we know where exactly where everything goes because this is the hundreds column so the three goes here this is the tens column, so therefore the six goes here. And this is the ones column or the units column, so the nine goes just there. Um, don't forget we're subtracting, so we do this. Okay, now here we are gonna have to do a few exchanges. We can't do this, we can't do this. Yes, we can do this. Okay, so that becomes a four, and this is 10, okay, and then if we exchange for one of these, then the 10 now becomes a nine, and the nine and the 10, um, the zero becomes 10. So 10 take away nine is just one. That's one gram. 
9 take away 6 is 3, and of course that's the tens column, so that represents 30 grams. 4 take away 3 is 1, that's in the hundreds column, and 2 take away nothing is 2, and that's in the thousands column. 2,131, and of course the answer is in grams. And finally, um, <clears throat> um, perimeters, and once again we will uh, put everything into uh, millimetres, five centimetres and five millimetres, hopefully you should be able to tell me now, it's 55, 55 millimetres, uh, so we can cross that out, five centimetres is 50 centimetre, uh, 50 millimetres, that's millimetres, so is that. Okay, so, straight off, vertical size, we've got a 50 here, We've got a, we've got a don't know here, haven't we? We've got a question mark here, and we've got a 21 here. So 21 and something is 50, and the something, the answer to that is 29. 29. Okay. And then, horizontally, we've got a something. We don't know what how big that is yet. Don't know yet. And we've got 29 here. And we've got 55 here, so 29 and 55. Well, let's do 29, sorry, let's do 55, add 30, that's 85, and then take one away, 84. Okay. Right. And then we'll get the highlighter pen. I like the highlighter pens. We'll get green. Okay, let's see if we can get it right first time. So 21 millimetres going up. Along is 29, so 21 and 29 is 50. That's nice, so 50. Then we go up 29, so <clears throat> um, 50 add 29 is 79. 79 add 55 is 84, 134, 184. 184 and then oh that's interesting 184 268 so 268 and if it's worth doing once it's worth doing again so let's do pink so from here um, Notice how the pink highlighter and the green highlighter kind of mix together. Anyway, <laughs> start here. So 55 plus 50 is 105 plus 84 is 189 plus 1 is 190, 210 plus 29 is 250. Uh, 39, 239, plus another 29 is 49, 59, 68, yes, 268, and there they agree, so therefore we don't have to do it again, 268, and that's the answer to question 6, and that's the answer to the morning maths questions. Have a good day.